We're packing up the van. You think we need to take this guy with us? Yes, let's take Winston. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go with us? Hmm? Sure Tell everybody, does. say, come along with us. <laughs> You got somebody in your arms, and, and of course we have to have our uh, hats. And we got one of our newer cups here. You guys see them? Are we ready to hit the road? Okay. Olive Garden, got some food to eat, and um, look out there at that lake. Yeah, it's big, isn't it? We're at this campground. What's it called? RV Rutledge? Or I'll tell you guys more when I figure it out. But we're getting here late. Lakeside Store. It says Rutledge Lake RV Park. Oh, okay, well, there it is. Yeah, show them over there. We're close to the Asheville Airport. Yes, close to Airport Road in Asheville, Arden, North Carolina. All right, let me go grab her. Pack it. And okay. See what we got. Look at all this. <laughs> this is one you gotta have a um, gate key to get in. Site number six. I don't know. What do you think about it, Winston? Winston done good. He slept all the way. Mm-hmm. Just gonna show you guys what we got backed in here the gravel got a little pad no it's hard to see this right here looks like it's part of the office or bathhouse or something but I'm not sure can y'all see that lake over through there that could be pretty in the morning isn't that nice several slots out here that are right on the Water. Karen's getting our food ready from Olive Garden. We're both starving. It's, it's like eight o'clock. Look at that. All right, let's go eat. It's pretty out there. He slept pretty much the whole way over here. Olive Garden. We're gonna enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Then get this place uh, set up, bed down. Yes. Need some heat on? Yes, we'll need some heat on. Okay. Look at all this food. We both got um, chicken alfredo. Mm -hmm. And you got uh, some kind of... It's called chicken gnocchi soup. I can't get it open. Got some of their bread and some ranch to dip it in. Grated Romano cheese. That'll be good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got good. some spinach in it. Look at that. Look at all that chicken. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Dig in there. Mm -hmm. It's hard to dig these plastic things, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm-hmm. I'm throwing my gnocchi soup. <laughs> then we like to take a little bread. Get some ranch. I have a feeling <laughs> we're going to be so full in a minute. I know. We just want, want to go to bed. Because we're so hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was good, wasn't it? It was good, and we have leftovers. Yep. Already in the fridge. Yes. Winston slept through everything. You have some Wi Fi here. We got the bed down. Got some uh, coffee ready for in the morning here. Let me, let me see if I can get Winston here for you guys before we go to bed. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Winston's asleep. Oh, well, I think we just worked in that morning. Good morning. <laughs> I was going to show you guys the uh, daylight. It's rainy. 
but you can kind of see the pond out through there and all these sites down through here are right on it that'd be a good place to stay it's pretty quiet here some concrete how'd you sleep last night so I slept good um, like I said this is not really a destination for us I think earlier but it's a great stopover if you want mm -hmm. to visit some towns here in Western North Carolina Asheville yeah. Saluda, as Karen would yes. say. Um, <laughs> Arden. Gre yeah, Greenville. Greer. All kinds of little towns around here. South Carolina. Could, Those mm, are South Carolina. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we're close, pretty close to the South Carolina border here. Yes. Just a quick breakfast this morning. We're going to get on the road. It's going to rain all day, so I'm not sure what we're going to get into. We invite you all to come along. Yes. Some nice spots here. Looks like some tiny houses. Uh -huh. uh, some cabins that if you don't have a camper. Yes. So... We'll drive through a little bit and let you see it in the daylight. <laughs> yeah. You ready to go? You ready? So let's go, people. Grab some groceries. Yes. I'll be in a minute. Well, I got all the groceries put up and we're ready to go sightseeing. It is pouring out. It is. A <laughs> really wet yeah. day. So we're trying to find this old mill and cider shop. I think it's near Hendersonville, North Carolina. And then uh, we're going to swing back through where Karen? Saluda. <laughs> Saluda. North Carolina. <laughs> and we're going to have a lunch, a late lunch at um, Ward's Grill. can't find this cider mill. <laughs> we tried three different maps. Yeah, so. And we're in a residential area, a very nice residential area. And it way. said you reach your destination, but it's not here. Just some very nice houses. Yeah. So, sorry about that. We're headed on to uh, Saluda. We're back in Saluda, Saluda, North Carolina. Yeah. Here, we're going right over here to Thompson's Grocery Market and Grill. And the Ward's Grill. And the Ward's Grill is down below it there. We've already been here. Saluda, if you missed that video, we'll link it up. You can't see right over there, but there's a M.A. Pace and Company, big general mm -hmm. store that's really cool. We took inside that, and we actually ate at the Purple Onion right over there. And then there's a really neat train depot and museum up there. You can see the right tracks right here in front of us. Of course, Saluda is most famous for having the steepest grade railway in the U.S., I think. Don't quote me on that. Of course, it's um, not been running for about 20 years, but they've kept the line just in case. Yes. But we didn't get to eat at Ward's Grill when we were here last time, so we wanted to stop back by. 
And I guess we're going to have to leave Winston inside the van here. I guess. He's so little. We won't be gone long. Okay. Nobody would even notice him. You know, the last time we were here, it was pouring rain. It was. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. And if you remember the mayor that works in M.A. Pace store said we need to come back sometime in the summer. Grill and fountain service. Ward's Burgers. Here's the appetizers. Pork rinds and pimento cheese. Yes. What about that? <laughs> Spicy chicken bites. Several things there. Southern poutine. Crispy fries topped with shredded cheese, bacon, and brown gravy. I've heard about that dish. Yeah, fried green tomatoes. Mozzarella sticks. Salads. Fried chicken salad. Wedge salad. Chicken salad. Side salad. And all mm. kinds of different burgers. Yeah, you can check them out online for all their burgers. They even got a chicken burger. And they got sandwiches. Classic Club, Reuben, Beef Cheddar, BLT, fried bologna. Philly cheese steak, Michael's way, hot dog, dog basket, sides, fries, onion rings, tater tots, fried okra, fried pickles, potato salad, stuff for kids. They got all kinds of things. Don't they? Listen to this sandwich, rock sand, the rock sand, hot turkey, Swiss cheese, slaw, Thousand Island dressing on rye bread. Interesting. It is. So I ran to the restroom. On the wall in the restroom, it says the difference between the north and the south clearly explained. At last. At last. <laughs> a couple of them I'll read them for you here while they're cooking their food. By the way, I got a cheeseburger fries and what'd you get? Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it's the pimento. It's got homemade pimento cheese on it and their bacon jam. The north has Bloomingdale's, the south has Dollar General. <laughs> the north has uh, coffee houses, the south has Waffle Houses. The North has dating services. The South has family reunions. The North has cream of wheat. The South has grits. The North has green salads. The South has collard greens. <laughs> the North has the rust belt. The South has the Bible belt. In the women's restroom, it's something different. It's about Southern saying quotes from different people. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look, Mike, they have shakes, regular and thick, any flavor. We'll have to see if they have peanut butter. Yeah. Sundays. Here comes the meals. Go. What was my cheeseburger called? I forgot. Pimento cheeseburger. Just a pimento yeah. cheeseburger. Does it work? Do you need mayonnaise? No. I don't. Mm -hmm. Look, I got fried okra. Mm-hmm. Look how much I got. There's some ketchup going here. Do you have peanut butter milkshake? Okay. Well, yeah. what kind of peanut butter do you use? Uh, but real peanut butter. There you go. Peanut butter mushroom. Right, we're here to go. To go. To go, yeah. To go. All right. This is Miss Karen's. It's called a pimento cheeseburger. This is their homemade pimento cheese on top. Let me show them the bacon jam. This oh, is the bacon jam. Oh, my. And then this is just your regular cheeseburger and all the fixings right there. I tasted of just the bacon jam, y'all, and it's good. Thoughts were hot. The okra's good. We say, excuse me, their breakfast is really good here. I don't know. Man. I wish we could have gotten here in time to try it. Oh my, hold that up there. Look at that thing. Pimento cheese is falling off. We didn't do cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> that is good. So hot. Mm hmm. Mm. This has so much fermented cheese on it, melted, it's falling off. That's good meat right there. Mm -hmm. it's, and juicy. It's telling me the bacon jam was kind of like smoky and sweet, and that's what it tastes like. It's really good. Good choice, wasn't it? I'm, try I'm glad I tried something different on my cheeseburger. It's good. I'll tell you right now, that's one of the thickest hamburgers uh -huh. out and about. I believe I've ever had. Mm -hmm. One patty. That's not two patties, it's just one. But you can get a double cheeseburger. I don't know who could eat it. I know it. Well, I'm putting the finishing touches on this burger. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is the rest of this one. You think you can eat the rest of that? I know I can. Mm, my peanut butter milkshake's here. Mmm. 
That's really good. That is a humongous straw. And this is how you're supposed to do it. And remember how many times? You have to dump it out. Remember how many times we've got milkshake? Oh, and a little bit of straw. Just can't. a regular little straw, and you can't get it in to come at the milkshake if it's real thick. Can't get anything through it, can you? Mm -mm. That's why they give you that little bitty straw milk over the milkshake. That's why they put a spoon in it. Oh, okay. Because they know. Yeah. But this, you don't need that. Look how thick that is. You want a taste of it? Yes, you need a taste of it. <clears throat> he was somewhere with Miss Shirley. You can tell that's the original peanut butter, but oh, yeah. I just don't like a peanut butter milk. Ooh. Okay. That hamburger would be hard to beat, you know what? He would be. You know. The Thompsons. We're not next door to um, the oldest grocery store in North Carolina is right there. Yeah, Thompsons. Look at this in the snow. See those big Coke bottles up there? Still got the booths if you'd like to sit in a booth. It's a typical grill. Very good food. Mm -hmm. Here, in case you missed our last stop in here, we've got syrups and jams and meats and cheeses, flowers, little candies. Even got a vegetable place up there. I bet your mom would like this blackberry syrup. Probably so. Yeah, you've got uh, stuffed olives. Well, guess what? What? It's still raining. It is. Yeah. Okay, hope you had fun with us. Thanks for coming along. Yes, thanks for joining us here in Western North Carolina. Yeah. Until next time, we're Fridays. Forever. Bye-bye, guys. We gotta go check on Winston. We'll show him to you. Hang on just a second. Winston's both nice and warm. Tell her bye-bye. Say bye, everybody. <laughs> He's been asleep, doesn't he? <laughs> we got the heat in here for him. He's... Oh, goodness. <laughs> so Y'all come back and see us. Bye.